YouTube. How the fuck are you doing? Hey guys, Nate Shot. <laughs> oh, yo, 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 what is going on, guys? It is your boy, Optic Scumpy. What's up, buddy? Handsome Gamers, Brent back here, and today we're at Matt's house. But what I want to talk to you guys about today is the UMD Chicago event that's going on this weekend in Downers Grove, Illinois. Yeah, it's gonna be dope. All right. All right. <laughs> the day that Seth Scump Abner and Ian Crimsix Porter met for the first time was unforgettable. This special occasion took place on New Year's Eve of 2012, marking a significant moment in Scump's career. At just 17 years old, he was competing alongside Merck, Big T, and Nadeshot for Optic Gaming. On the other side, Crim was entering the UMG Chicago event fresh off a first place finish at Frag Cup 4 with Complexity. He was teaming up with TP, fears and aches. The two powerhouse teams had exact opposite bracket runs. Optic kicked off in the winner's bracket, taking down Unite Gaming, Soar, and Farico, securing their spot in the grand finals. On the flip side, Complexity started their tournament journey in loser's bracket round one, smashing every team in their path, including Icons, RNX, Envy, and Farico. Now the stage was set for the ultimate grand final showdown. Scump and Crimsix were about to face off for the first time in Call of Duty history. What better way to do it than in a grand final battle that would mark the beginning of a historic friendship and rivalry between the two. Finals, Optic Gaming up against Complexity. Who do you guys think is going to win in the chat? I see a lot of Optic love out there, but I believe I saw some Complexity in the chat as well. Optic Gaming, see what they're going to do. And I actually want to spectate Scump just for a bit if we can see. And he's trying to make something happen with that MSMC. Great, shot. Ooh, great he's shots. Great shots. And notice Optic making that comeback. Yeah, they are only 20 seconds back now. I'm starting to mount a comeback here. As they got, they, got, they got to keep the slaying up. That's pretty much what they got going now. They kind of shut down a bit TP. The thing about TP, guys, it's not really a skill ratio. It's the fact that he's getting so many kills on the hills and around the hills. That's what's impressive about TP's play right now. And Crim6 just turns on Merc here, apparently, as he just says he got turned on. Crim6 is a really, really active talker. And Scumpy now getting just a really no. them quick. They can still do it, but they need to control this rest of this hill. They cannot allow any mistakes right now. They are pushing from different angles. It's going to be really hard for Optic Control. Big kills, and that will be it, guys. That's four down. And that is going to be the game, as they were still able to come back there to control the rest of that hill. But, uh, uh, excuse me, Complexity got very fortunate spawns, spawning a bit spread out on the map. And it's pretty much made the push very easy for them. A bit unfortunate for Optic, but TP just, TP dropping 50 and 23. And that is, I mean, we're not talking about incredible hijack here. <laughs> we're talking about raid. And that is just crazy. TP just bringing it to another level. We haven't been seeing TP going off late much today, but this is the first night where I've seen TP on a complete level. This is TP I know that I've been playing against for a few years now, and TP was just a machine that game. One thing people have to remember is the fact TP right there, 18 defense, going huge for complexity. Not in favor of complexity. No, and makes just really, oh, ran in front of one. Actually, oh, does not. Not able to pick up. Actually, really a big play there by Aix. Uh oh. And realizing that the player. No, no, oh, 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 that was so close. Great try there by Aix. Great awareness. That's how fast Aix thinks. That was some huge awareness there as he was able to realize that the other player was in the backside. He was able to turn around and actually get the first shots on that player pushing him. If Aix would have been able to hit those shots, Scumps had a great little angle there on the bottom. That was really close as Scump was weak from that. If Aix would have hit him like maybe one or twice more, that was going to be so He's trying to be like make a play on the middle. I'm not entirely sure about this play from Optic. They're trying to push through an area where it's not makes sense. And that's a big kill by TP. That is bombed down. And there is 20 seconds left. I really do not like that play. Big Timer picks up a kill as well, though. And let's try to hop a boy Merc. Merc making the plays. Merc, Big Timer picks up a kill. That's three on that's 2v1 in this situation. Where's last player alive? He is at B. They should be, unless if he gets there, he needs to get there in time. And he will not get there in time. And that will be it if this player can stay alive. And I think they recognize that. And they will win that, and they Merc, they're not able to get to the bottom side of time. He ran with his gun out. He should have ran. He should have been running with his knife there to get there faster in that situation. Uh, bit of a mishap, but Optic does run out of time and is down 2-0 in the series now. We will see Complexity go up 2-0 over Optic, just like you mentioned. Right there, 6-4 to four is the score. Cargo s and the map. The next one coming up will end up being... Make it hectic at their base. Makes it even harder to back up to your flag and get the kills at your own base. So that's something they've been doing a lot. I really enjoy that from Complexity, and it, it's so much fun to watch. Yeah, we are on board with Scump right now from Optic Gaming. Looking around, he spots Fears, takes him out. And now we see Scum jumping back around. Both teams are running playing. Oh, actually, we see a player sneaking. I want to I see who this is. And I think Nateshot actually using his lightning strike here. They are going for the win. He's going for it all. Let's see if this is going to pray out for him. He does not. 
pick up. He picks up one There's kill. Yes, the pull. Let's see position from his opponent. He has actually run a flag straight at one of his opponents. This is gonna be a huge gunfight for Nation. Nation actually. Oh, he actually spots him. This is probably gonna realize and a huge kill there on Eggs. And that's gonna. Oh, actually, Crimson picks up a huge kill there on corner. Crimson does get taken out though, and this flag is being ran. Huge play at the opponent's base. Teep gets a huge kill and pulls the flag. Deep is saving the game for his team at this point. He needs to get out of there with his flag. And he does get taken out. We see another play from his team being close. And the flag is returned. And Scum gets a huge kill. And Looks this is like going to be Optic winning this game right here. Nice job by Merck. Optic able huge to Huge plays by Even Optic. Freaking out. Merck with a huge cap right there for Optic. Giving them the win. 2-1. to one. You hear Optic starting to yell back at Complexity taking it. 2-1 to one, though, the series lead in favor of Complexity. We finally see some life out of Optic Gaming, Rambo. And we saw this it. This could the, change it around. That was a huge TB buzz by Scump on the tank. He got the kill for the return. And then I believe I was, I'm not sure who was next to him, but that was a huge kill. And then pretty much won the map on that. And one playing very well. And we are about to see it go to 100 to 1. <laughs> <laughs> Complexity appears screaming for his ice cream. Come on. 100 to 8. Come on. Now we finally see a little bit out of Optic as they're gaining some points back. But Complexity still firmly in the lead. Great job by Complexity. So, so what did he say? Oh, yeah. So, Hex. Hex said he would buy everyone ice cream with Optic One and such, but I believe Egg said something about the ice cream. I'm not entirely sure what he said exactly, but it was kind of fun. Where's my ice cream? And Egg said, where's my ice cream, actually? Oh, I thought it was Fears. Uh, no, it was not. Eggs, Eggs is the one talking. Fears does not he talk do a great all. job at holding, this, at holding hills. And you see Crimson's already rotating for the next one. They're going to be closing this one out, and this this might be a, a complete This might be a 200-point win here. I mean, Complexity completely showing their utter dominance and hard point. And as we look on the map, they have complete spawn control. The only way Optic was actually going to come back on this if they got these spawn controls, but now Friendly Complexity has spawn controls and they only have 20 seconds left before they can close out this game and they're still getting spawns here and this is huge so we seems like we're going to be seeing a continue, or not a continuation but a reset here as Complexity is going to bring this to a second best of five and Crimsix looking to close this one out here, big plays and I mean it's slang man, it's all it is. We'll look again at the sad board when this game's over but it, it really comes down to the amount of kills Optic got and the amount of kills Complexity got. Right so there, Complexity wins the first best of five, but now they have to win another. Rambo, I honestly thought the Optic was going to come out guns blazing. Not the case, though. Optic looking like they're sleeping so far, but we have another best of five. We'll see if they're able to turn it around. Right there, big timer struggling a bit, 7 and 18. You also see Nate shot at 12 and 22. Very vocal so far, trying to wake his team up, make sure that they stay at this top level there, trying to move into this hard point and take it over. It looks like TP choosing big to kills. move back around there. Skump actually picking up two, though. TP goes down as well as oh my. Skump going big, takes out Aix, and he is trying to hold off this hard point, make sure that Optic keeps the lead. Big and still plays. moving in there, but Nade Shot takes him out, not to fear. And now it looks like Optic right away, as there is no use. And Fears, Fears making huge plays for his team. Those kills on the hill were huge. Crimzix picks up two, and Complexity in control. A minute left there, up by 40. And it looks like Complexity will be able to take this Fears one. Cohen and his score streaks just to pat it on. Fears takes out two, Crimzix with another. Eggs finalizing it. Fears calling in the Hellstorm. And he won't catch anyone there. No need. Complexity will win Yemen hard points. They will get the full 250 here. There was some huge plays by Complexity here. Two games away of winning this tournament. And Optic has to be straight. has to be taken into consideration here. Optic I have only won one match so far. And they're down pretty much 4-1 to one total if we were to like count all the maps. And, I mean, with, with, I mean, Complexity is so strong at hard point. As Optic, you have to, you really have to win these next two maps if you want to come back to anyone. So we'll, just, oh, Crimson's being super aggressive up middle right here. And, oh my goodness. Spots he's, oh, he picks up Big T. Down. Some really, really super aggressive. Crimson's pretty much saying, I'm taking things into my own hands right now. And you see the rest of Optic being super scared, all sending in their spawn pretty much. And this is and where that is huge. And you see they're committing to the side of, and that is Jeez. really big plays. Merc's last one alive. Crimson. And huge plays. I disagree with that play from Optic. I'm so, I'm not sure that was just they had a situation. So pretty much they pushed the they pushed into crim and in the complexity zone. They had once it's three on three situation. They had a decent situation in the middle. They had different cutoffs. So trying to get a bomb down that situation. Maybe someone might be watching yellow and planning on the port. 
both teams being really aggressive on either side. And we see two players on A. And be a big kill by Crim6 to start his, start things off. Aix, Aix makes a huge kill on his 3v2 for in, in, in complexity's favor. And Nishot does get a kill with that sniper, but we do see someone flanking through the middle. I believe it's going to be Nishot. Nishot here trying to make plays. Big, big kill there by Nishot. Making a first down. kill. And TP's down. And it's now a 2 on 2 situation. But they do have to make that plant. And they're not making rotation. We can see uh, uh, complexity's definitely aware of where the bomb is at this point. Nishot not able to make that snipe shot. That was probably their only chance of winning that round in this situation. They have 10 seconds to get the bomb site. And, and you can see Fears and their complexity calling out hide. And they do have not time to plant. In a certain situation, Nishot is, and we can see the last player is nowhere near. And Optic will be winning this. Uh, will be losing this. And yep. oh with big God. comeback there by complexity. Just, I feel like just Optic's inability to play the objective on this map was really the cost. Um, they really weren't able to uh, to establish. They were seemingly going for kills too much. I mean, they had advantage yeah. certain situations, and it, it kind of cost them at the end of the game. I mean, I was just letting you go, though. You seemed like you were on a roll for yeah, a I'm bit. Sorry, yeah. You knew exactly what you wanted to talk about. So some great analysis. You knew exactly what complexity was doing, as well as what Optic was doing wrong. Looking at that scoreboard, you noticed the TP came back 4-7. and seven. Crimson at 12-7, and seven, playing very Huge well plays. for his team. And complexity on the uh, earlier play. like we, we start we're seeing pretty much complexity just outplaying optic right now and it's really gonna come down to it but i think something to note on the positive side for optic they have been getting a lot of map control this game and they're kind of fear i mean fears is getting a lot of kills at his own base so oh big kelly by there eggs get destroyed by scump and t picks fears, them up though fears. and fears and you see optic a bit weird way spread out right now fear should be more aggressive on this um fears more of a slayer so Actually, I, I, it depends. If, if his teammates die right now, actually two of his teammates die, so he needs to get in a better position to get out his flag out. He, he, needs, he needs to be able to cut this flag off. He's not really doing anything to cut this flag off. He's got to be able to cut this flag before he gets back. And Optic's going to be starting to run back towards the base here. And Merc actually calls a hunter killer. And you can see one of his teammates actually make... Nate Shot makes a big kill on Aegis there. And we can see right now on, on the overhead, they're all starting to rotate back. Fears gets a big kill there. If would have missed that, it would have been some huge mistake. And there we go. Scump and Merc picking up kills here. And it looks like TP's the TP. last one alive to stop this flag right here. And he seems to be... Big kill by TP there. He's going to be able to run this out. And no! Oh, big kill on Nate Shot. Nate Shot going huge. Can Nate Shot get his kill? Aegis makes a kill. And... Does not get the return, and there it is. Optic gets a cap here, going big plays by Optic. And a minute 30 here, we see another last minute play here. Big plays by Optic getting that flag cap, and then a minute 30, they got to make some plays here to come back in this game. We saw him take the CDF earlier. It's very light. Started a bit slow on the start, so they seem to be all rotating for one guy here. They're putting a lot. Oh, Crimson picks up two. They're huge plays by Crimson. Maybe his team's able, and they do able to pitch it back. And it's all up to Fierce. He's trying to make plays. And we do see a spawn here. Good spawn rotation by Nate Shot here. Making a big place. Oh, and Nate picks up a kill. Aix recognizes the players in the back of his disc. And Aix picks up that kill. And Let me pull up the overhead. See what's going to happen here. And Aix knows. needs to win this gunfight. And it's all to this gunfight. If Aix can win this. And no, oh. big kill by Merc there. And that's going to be game and I believe. Unless Teep can make a play here. And no, I don't think so. There's going to be 20 seconds left. And Merc picks him up. Big plays by Merc there. Keeping his team in the game. And that's going to be pushing this map to a map four. And it's going to be 2-1 to one for complexity. Yeah, Optic is showing a little bit of life now. Coming back in the CTF, they are not going to go down quite yet. Complexity leads the series, though, 2-1. to one. All they need is one more map, and the next map is, like you mentioned, hijacked Hardpoint. Hardpoint being their specialty. Yeah, huge plays. And we do see Optic taking this map, and we do, like I said, we have hijacked Hardpoint and Express S&D next, and this is going to be super intense. Hijacked is always a super intense map to watch. This is going to be some interesting plays. I'm really interested to see who's going to take this map. This is going to be huge. I mean, for Optic to come back and push this to a Search and Destroy. Search and Destroy is always a for that hard point, and they look like they're about to tie it up. Aix and Fears with some big kills. Big timer in response, picking up two of his own. Aix and Crimson go down. Stop oh, oh, going big. That was huge for Optic, and they are going to take the lead with that. That was a very with this hijacked hard point. Yeah, and Complexity seems to be trying to close it out right now. They are up by 40. We see Scum getting a huge shoot beast on hill again. It makes some good plays here. They're going to get at least a 20 back from this. It's like I said earlier, it's all going to be about this underground hill here. If they can get control of this, it's going to be the biggest hill of this map. And Nisha picks up two kills on the ground. Huge plays by him. And he seems like they're always trying to go for that it's right, right now. And Scum making another big kill on that. And that's only going to be 10 seconds. If they can get control of this underground hill, it's going to be really good for him. And I'm trying to find him on the map. Merc is in there. Score I believe. It looks like it was a four score streak. So he's going to be looking around. Trying to pick up one. 
does not happen, but we do see complexity still holding on to the hard point. Crimzix moving around right oh there. Aix taken out too. Great Crimzix awareness. Shoots big timer. Merc into TP. And Fears takes out Merc and Scump. And now it looks like complexity is starting to gain some momentum this back. This is huge. They are Aix winning two 30. on the back two. And this is some huge time on the silly guys. This is 30 second lead. Oh. Like you're in growing. And we see Crimsix getting some score sheets as well now. And this is going to be get, this, this this lead is becoming insurmountable. There is two hill left. This middle hill is one or two of them. And actually only one. The hill guy still survives, which is huge for Optic. And the, and this is big plays. They are getting full time out of this. And it is now a 20 second game coming down to the wire. And and man, Optic gets the spawns. Your huge play of big timer. He's going to at least be able to pick up what might kill his own teammate. And he does pick up his own teammate with that little misusage of that. And this is going to come down to it. They do get spawns for this. So it is going to come down on the wire here. I think we might see. Oh, huge win by Crim6 on Big T. And this is going to come down to it. They got to win these gunfights. And. Th and there we see some trades back and forth. They do get control of spawn, so they do have dips on the first hill. It is a 20 second game, making the plays. And we see Optic getting full control of the hill. Here it is. Optic. They have to make plays. This is intense. We see Optic taking this, moving Big around. Big win by Fierce. Fierce. Taking out Scum, Merc into eggs in response. TP with the frag, taking out Big Timer. Merc holding strong inside that hard point. Fierce trying to make something happen. And now you see the frantic oh, yeah. Big plays. Complexity. And here it is. Egg still in this situation big plays. Ace gets taken out. And he comes to the score streaks. Actually, this is not over. And big big T picks up two. They still have the control of the hill. Nine seconds uh -oh. left. It's coming down the wire. And Fierce Don't gets away. Five seconds. Don't Don't it. And the West Side Optic. Optic will edge this one out. Optic will edge this one out. Big plays by everyone. Optic coming back. And Scumpy letting him know. Big plays all around from Optic, making that huge comeback there, down by about 50 seconds at some point. Great plays by Optic. Optic is not out of this yet, Gears. This is, everyone should be tweeting this out right now. Map 5 coming up. It's going to be Express Search and Destroy coming down the wire for all the marbles. And it just comes right back out. Merc's able to clean up the kill, though. And Merc making big plays right now. Merc's, ooh, Merc's, oh, almost missed the kill. But Scum cleans up spheres there. And it's all up. It's all up to Aegs. 2v1 situation. As you can see, both players, Scump making the right play and backing up. And Big Timer is middle. Aegs has to be careful of this mid map right here. Aegs knows he's around and he's being very careful. And they just kind of ran through. And Aegs is going through. And I like this play by Aegs. This is going to give him a good chance. He might be able to get the bomb playing on B. And everyone, this venue is silent. Hell. I'm trying not to talk too loud. <laughs> and and there goes the plan there by Aegs making a huge play, sneaking up. And do Scumpy makes a big play on Aegs. And Optic. Optic able to get the first, and let's see who's closer. Big timer, no big timer doesn't have a kill. So Scumpy, <laughs> Scumpy will be taking that 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 defuse. So he's gonna Scumpy actually starting off really huge, Optic two kills. Zero. And there you go, Scumpy getting close to score. I'm gonna switch to Merc here as he's in situation to the bomb cross. We can be able to switch from Nate shot to Merc as well. So we do see Complexity is trying to make plays now. Hopping back more with Nate shot. 22 seconds. Complexity is taking way too much time to make plays here. They're gonna have to go for that bomb plan pretty soon. And we do see Crucix making a big kill on Nate shot. And there was another one. And Scump. Scum gets the kill on Teep, and they do have 12 seconds. We do see Big Time on a full-on flying, and Scum picks up another kill. Huge, and this is a 1v3 situation, and I don't see, and Scum picks up the kill. And it is, and Scum, Scum picks up three kills that round, making it huge. And as we see, Scum is always big in a big plays, and this is going to be it. If Optic can win this offensive round, and that's going to be game set and match and tournament. Huge plays by Optic there, coming back. I Man. cannot imagine a better situation than this. I would love nothing more than to see complex uh, complexity take this, this next yeah. one. Send it into overtime. That is what I want. I want to see it a 1v1. And and we see Nate Shot take a bomb through middle here. I don't like this play at all from Nate Shot. He's going to... Oh, okay, I like this play running back. Him running through middle. And we do see Optic getting a full-on B push. And no one seems, looks like he seems to be able to contest this. They just seem to be giving that up. And I don't like this, man. Nate Shot is... I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to let you guys watch. I don't want to. I don't want to come into play, interfere with anything right now. It is a four v four situation. It doesn't look like anybody is over near Nature. He should get the bomb plan down. So he does there get the bomb plan, and it is a four and four situation. Bomb plan. This all comes down to this, and we see Nature gets taken out. Big T gets a kill on Crimson though. It is a three on three situation now. Big Timer looking through, and Ax picks up a kill on Mercury. It's and huge play. Big Timer makes a big kill. And now Scum picks up on Ax, and it's a one v two, and then TP stuck in the corner. It's going to be all up to this, and they have position on this. And this is it. This is it! We do have the Optic winning! And that is it! Complexity!